Now you've probably seen this or this. But how did this style come back and why is it so popular right now? Now visually, it's something that has always been there. But now more than ever before, we're seeing homeowners implement these curves into their homes. But what is it about curves that really make them seem so appealing? To really understand why we love curves, we have to first look at what our brain tells us. Megan Gambino, a senior editor at the Smithsonian Magazine, actually wrote a piece about this. She wrote that in 2010, neuroscientists at the Zandville Krieger Mind Slash Brain Institute at Johns Hopkins University actually joined forces with the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore to conduct an experiment. Significant form is the concept that really originated with Kant but the term comes from Clive Bell. He had this idea, especially in the emerging world of abstract art, that some shapes appeal to the human brain, the aesthetic sensibility in a way that others did not. Their goal was to find out which of these shapes were the most pleasing and what actually happened to our brains when we looked at them. There were three hypotheses. Now, the first school of thought was that shapes we most prefer are more visually exciting, meaning that they spark intense brain activity. As for the second school of thought, it would be that our favorite shapes are more serene and therefore spark calm brain activity. And finally, the idea that we might very well gravitate to shapes that kind of spur a pattern of alternating strong and weak activity. The scientists created 10 sets of images which they then hung on a wall at the Walters Art Museum in 2010. Now each set included 25 shapes, all variations on a laser scan of a sculpture by artist Gene Arp. Now Arp's work was chosen in this case because his sculptures are, in a sense, abstract forms that are not meant to represent any recognizable objects. Now upon entering the exhibition, visitors put on a pair of 3D glasses and then for each image set, they noted their most preferred and least preferred shape on a ballot. Now these shapes were basically blobs with various appendages. The neuroscientists then reviewed the museum goers' responses in conjunction with fMRI scans taken on lab study participants who were also looking at the very same images. Ultimately, the scientists found that visitors actually prefer shapes with gentle curves as opposed to sharp points. And the magnetic brain imaging scans of the lab participants also proved the team's first hypothesis to be true. So now that we know that curves are making our brains all excited and happy, what was it that actually led to this uptake of curves coming back into our modern day living environment? Oh, you see, it all started with the resurgence of the Art Deco style, whose characteristic sleek geometric shapes aligned beautifully with the modern minimalism that has essentially been in favor for quite a while now. Take a look at this article by Rupali Sebastian. He asked Studio Infinity's co-founder, about curves and this is what he said. He feels that the design world seems to be gradually moving from minimalism to maximalism and that the curved aesthetics are really a result of this shift. So we now know that curve wall started because of how it blends in with the current trend of minimalism. But how about the interior styles of home? Now when curves come into play in homes, it actually tends to elevate the design in a sense. An example would be inside a modern Scandinavian transformation in Badok. Now Pei Ying and Tia Hong decided to go with a more Scandi style, a choice that sounds perfect when you want to add curves into your home space. Now the Scandinavian style focuses on clean, simple lines, a little bit of minimalism and functionality without sacrificing all that much beauty. Now part of what makes it so aesthetically pleasing is really its lack of clutter. And so when you add curves to the lines in the home, everything seems so much cleaner. So how can homeowners like us apply it to our own houses? Well, you see, the idea is actually a lot to do with framing. Now, framing essentially creates a visual hierarchy and guides people's gazes around the layout of your home. It also allows you to draw attention to something and in a sense, set it apart from its surrounding. Look at how this window frames this cat. Really, curves are just fun in that way. They make framing much more unique, right? Just like how a circle picture frame is more unique than a rectangular one. Now, this school of design usually arises when you're working with doors, windows, and even entryways. And in fact, the method is so under the radar that you often don't realize how important it is 
until it's not there. Now, of course, I'm not saying that furniture and carpentry are not important. Now, more than ever before, the market for rounded furniture and curved carpentry with irregular shapes is really growing. This piece right here is what the Rave is all about right now. As you can see, it's a custom console and it's a great example of a curved furniture that in a way warms the place with its curves. And of course, it's only come to popularity due to the surge in curved homes. Now we do realize that sometimes it's not really worth spending thousands to join in on the curve trend by <laughs> essentially renovating an entryway or curving a wall. So these pieces of furniture essentially help you remain trendy without having to break the bank. And so in conclusion, curves are definitely a trend that we are all in favor of. From curved walls to curved windows to curved doors even, they all have a special place in our heart. Overall, it's certainly something that looks natural and makes us feel cozy, safe, with a touch of softness. But ultimately, you have to think of what you like and what design speaks to you in your own home. Now, hopefully you liked this episode. If you enjoyed what you just saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment below telling us what you want to see in future opening videos. Subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.